it wasn't meant to be like for me to ski. It was just a coincidence that my friend was skiing and then I wanted to do the same. And then I just skied two times a week for many years and just had fun and skied a lot in the forest, in the tracks in the forest and not so much courses. It was just super fun skiing. I always get nervous before every race and uh, before it kind of ruined me because I ski very good in trainings and then at races I just collapsed but now I've managed to turn it a bit around and make it to a positive thing. For me I, I have the technique that I just sort of like zoom out and think okay we are some girls skiing on timing in a hill nothing more and ski. <laughs> I have to make it that simple for me inside my head. So if I build it up, it gets too much. It's always easy to doubt your uh, dryland training because you never know how the other ones are training in the World Cup circuit. But uh, for sure I know I train hard and all the team really have tried to maybe change not to just be strong but to be athletic all the way, be good at many parts in the physical demands in skiing. Yeah. I'm very curious, I like to watch analysis, I love to see details and stuff. But when I see all the details to make it down to one target to work on, that's, I think that's been my most effective way to work. It's like learning a dance to actually do the moves. Dare to do what I've planned in the inspections, that's, that's my really biggest goal. I really hope I can do it. I see the bad boy line and I see where, where, it, where I can win time. But when I get there, sometimes it can be really hard to actually do it. So that's really my goal to do as planned. I just feel super lucky to be able to be an athlete and to represent Norway really. And uh, my lesson is this is the one chance I have to be on the team and make the most out of it, yeah.